Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to do another quick tip in Orca Slicer. We're going to talk about connectors, dovetails, snap-in connectors, dowels, all that good stuff. These are features found within the, the cutting tool within Orca Slicer. And these have come down from Prusa and the Bamboo Studio and through all the different forks and iterations they have made their way into Orca. Uh, these are great little features so that if you have to, uh, if you have to uh, cut bodies apart, uh, because maybe they're too big to fit on your build plate or you've got some other design consideration that you need to make. But this allows you a way to basically have a connector or some way to join them back together in a reliable and accurate way. So the way that this is used is pretty simple. So I've designed this box just for these purposes in Fusion 360. It is a solid box, but it is hollow. So I need to make a base and a lid. And I've done that and I've left it hollow specifically for this reason where I want to use Orca Slicer to perform these actions for me. So in this particular case, I've got this selected. You can come right up here to the cut tool. And by default, right, you've just got your sort of standard planner cut, right? So you're cutting along horizontal or vertical or angle, wherever you want to cut this thing. In this case, let's talk about the dovetail first. So if you change your mode to dovetail, you can see now that you are presented with a dovetail that moves right through the part, right? So you're going to slice on this particular plane and a dovetail is going to be added. You have some options related to depth and width. So you can play around. These two fields on the right are your tolerance. You want to make sure you're adding some tolerance to a, to a dovetail since this is sort of a slide on friction fit, right? You want to make sure you've got some, some tolerance built in so things actually slide around. You can then change your flap angle and your groove angle, which applies to the angle of the actual uh, positive and negative portion of the dovetail. Uh, and then we can just perform the cut. But before you do that, you can actually change the orientation and position, right? So if you want to rotate this uh, on the Z, if you want to rotate this on the X or Y, then you have options to do that as well. For this case, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it where it is. I'm going to perform the cut. You can see things get stacked up and just all thrown together. You do get a warning down here. So I'm going to go ahead and just come up here and use the auto arrange objects. And hey, say arrange. Now it's going to throw it onto another um, another build plate. So I'm just going to move some things around so that you can see what's happening. I'm going to rotate this 180, and we're going to go ahead and just delete that plate. So now you can see we've got our dovetail box. We've got a top and a bottom, and that should easily slide on, no problem. And then you just slice and go print. Uh, so that's the first option, your dovetail option. Let's talk about connectors now. So this dovetail is meant, you know, it, it's either permanent or semi-permanent or whatever you want to do, but a dovetail is nice because then you can just slide the tops on and off. Now, if you need something a bit more permanent, uh, then if we go back to the cutting tool and we go back to our normal mode, right, planner cut mode, then we can now say add connectors. So if we hit the add connector button, you now get some options where we've got snap, we've got dowel, we've got plug. Let's first talk about plug. So a, a plug is you're gonna have a post and then a hole on the other end, right? So you have different styles you can choose from, you have different shapes you can choose from, and you can also, again, specify your depth and size, and then what tolerance you wanna apply um, to using one of those plugs. This might be some playing around you gotta do from a test perspective, but overall, like the couple of tests I did, it was pretty close, it, and it all depends on your printer. I'm, I've got the Bamboo A1, and um, some of the standard tolerancing was just fine. Um, so once you've selected your type and your style, it's, it's simple. You just come across here and say, I want to, I'm going to left click and add a plug here. And I want to add a plug here and I want to add a plug here and I want to add a plug here. Uh, and then once we confirm connectors and perform the cut, now you can see we're all stacked up again. So let's auto arrange and, and we are set. I hate that it. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip this over just so that we can see what's going on. <clears throat> so now we've got our base. We'll call this our base and we'll call this our top or vice versa. And you can see now we've got plugs and uh, a reciprocating hole on the other side. So you can print these out and stick them together. Um, is the you know is this meant to come on and off on and off? I think you know if you're going to do something like that, you definitely want a, a good surface area. You want to make sure that these uh, that the plugs are nice and strong from like a wall, and maybe you're actually going to print those solid to provide them a bit more um, you know strength. Something that's coming on and off like that because of the layer lines is going to be a pretty weak connector overall. I think from an alignment accuracy and alignment 
this is great, right? Because the, the pins are only going to go in one way, right? This part's only going to get fashioned around one way and fit together correctly. So that's, that's that option there. So if we back this off and essentially go back to the cut, we can reset the cut and say add connectors. Now dowels are essentially the same thing as a plug, except it's gonna you're gonna have two parts with holes on the other side, and you're gonna and it's gonna print you separate dowels to basically stick inside the holes. So, oops, let's go back. Let's add connectors. Let's say I want a dowel here, and I want a dowel here and here. Confirm and cut. So now you can see if we auto arrange. The difference here being is that you've got holes on either side and it's printed you some dowels here. It's created you some dowels to essentially fit into the holes. So those are those two examples. Then the, and the last one here is going to be reset the snap connector. So if we add connector and we go here to snap, you again have options as far as depth and size and tolerance and things like that. And you can simply say, I want a snap connector here and I want a snap connector here, whatever you want to do. You can again depth size based on your printer things like that you might not want to go too small with these right because things are going to get kind of brittle but these are meant to essentially be compressed right and, and do a friction fit and snap together which is why you don't have any tolerance up here on, on this side of the hole right so you've got a little bit of tolerance on the depth but you don't have any tolerance on the other side this could be a might be an issue at the base but I, the couple of tests i did actually everything fit together really well so um, but because these two forks compress, right, they compress and provides friction fit, you don't really need that much tolerance on that side. Maybe you can do 50 microns or something like that. So again, confirm connectors, perform cut, and we can go ahead and auto arrange. <clears throat> and if we go ahead and just rotate this dude, then you can see here we've got the holes on this particular part, and then we've got our connectors on this part, your snap connectors there. So, pretty simple, right? Um, saves time from, I mean, you could go, if, you, if you've got, you know, CAD abilities <clears throat> and you've got those types of connectors, you can go certainly design them in your CAD program. If you're a noob and you just have a part you need to slice and be able to put them back together, Orca's got some pretty decent features for you. Um, so there you go, there's your quick tip for tonight. Um, like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.